Hi, I'm Sean Barrows. Wanted to give you an idea of why I wanted to do this Live for Music tour. I realized that you know music education is such an important part of a, of a student's upbringing. Without the music education that they deserve, they don't quite develop the emotional spectrum that they need, the most emotional control that they need. Music education provides not only an emotional outlet for all these kids, but it also provides them an opportunity to be a part of a family, you know, the, uh, the teamwork that you learn from this. Kids being a part of a choir or a drama department or, or a band or drumline, they have that camaraderie with their, with their friends. They develop a family. And that's what creates that fa familiar bond uh, that you just can't replace with anything else. I realize that there are so many of us musicians who could do things for these programs and I'm kind of hoping to create some sort of a revolution with this, some kind of a movement so that, you know, not only, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the Live for Music team, but uh, maybe all these other musicians start to get ideas to start donating to programs and helping these programs so that they can survive despite all the recession and the, and the budget cuts and everything else to really give those kids the education that they deserve. We would love to see the Live for, Live for Music tour itself reach out to every single school in the country and give every single music program some kind of funding or some kind of new support or awareness so that the communities around them are suddenly aware of the importance of why these music programs need to exist. You know, they, they say that 75% of music students make up the top 10% of all academic students. There's definitely a reason for this. Music not only contributes to overall academic levels, but it also gives kids goals to, to achieve. So we just feel like this is, this is such a crucial thing to keep alive that my team and I have decided to volunteer and go around the country and raise money for a lot of these music programs. You know, when, it, when I was about 15 or 16, I discovered the love for music. It was when my piano teacher challenged me to start writing my own music. I, it was uh, David Brooks was the piano teacher. I remember his name. And you know, he would, he'd been teaching me for about six or seven months, and then he realized that I was being frustrated with playing you know, all the notes on the page. And, and he said, you know what, maybe you should just create something yourself. And I realized that I found a, just a new and ideal way to express my emotions in a very healthy outlet. When I wrote my first song, it was such a, a life-changing moment for me that I realized that this is something that I need to do. You know, and not only something I need to do, but something I need to inspire others to do. Over the last three days, you just did your first show at the high school. Mm -hmm. And you received feedback from the kids in the form of emotion and experience. What did you perceive from them, and what did you take away from them? Well, the, the second night, which was the better night of the two, I definitely felt like we formed that bond that you always get with other performers. We, we shared the emotion together. I really felt like we kind of connected on the stage, like we found that common ground together and we created something together. And there's, there's always an excitement that comes with creating something with other people and succeeding in it. When you successfully create a work of art, you look around you and you see all the people who helped contribute to it and you, you have this new you know, camaraderie, friendship, and, and love for them. I would say it was definitely rewarding to see that they felt that way about my show, that they really appreciated that we came and created this thing, and it was definitely rewarding for the rest of us to see that we were actually making a difference.